Hey everyone, welcome back. My name's Matt, and today I'm continuing the series in which I go through Dark Souls 3 and defeat all the uh, Soul Level, all, all the bosses on Soul Level 1, and just show my you know tips and tricks on how I like to take care of them. Now, as you can see, we are in the untended graves. We are getting ready to go take on uh, one, one of my more likable bosses in this game in Champion Gundyr. And as you can see in the item in my left hand, for one reason only, that right there. I love, I love just the, just parrying Champion Gun Deer. It's so fun. It's just like parrying uh, Udex Gun Deer right at the beginning of the game. But it just feels pretty satisfying here. Uh, yeah, so let's look at the gear quickly. Uh, same as, same as the previous boss in Osiris. Plus nine short sword. We'll get a plus ten after we're done with this boss. We got the uh, Cestus Kaistus, however you pronounce it. Uh, Lloyd Sword Ring, more damage. Always good to have stamina recovery. Chlorinthy Ring, Flynn's Ring, more damage. And then uh, this will help us survive a hit if, if needed. So let me pop an Ember quickly while I'm here. I can't remember if he can one shot or not from uh, the non Ember state, but may as well have it on. So, the first phase of uh, Champion Gundyr, we're literally going to treat it the same way as Udex Gundyr. So, we want to bait out. There's, there's like, there's two attacks pretty much, but uh, they're just slightly different. And the attack I'm talking about is you'll be facing him, and he'll take uh, his, I, I forget what it's even called, just his, his weapon, and he'll take it and he'll like, Bends. It'll be like he's winding up to drive a golf ball, but he's doing it the opposite way. Um, so he'll take his he'll take his his weapon, and he'll bring it across his body and bring it behind the left side of his head, and then he'll strike forward in front of himself. So when he does that, you just want to stand there and wait. And uh, as soon as he starts attacking forward, uh, just just parry. Uh, the, you know, anytime. Uh, you go to parry something new. It's all about just practicing it and getting the timing down. I could tell you, be like, oh yeah, you know, you should wait like two seconds and then on 2.3 seconds hit the parry. It's more about just visually learning it. Um, but yeah, he'll he'll take that sword, he'll bring it back slowly, and then he'll go forward, give the quick parry, and then yeah, then repost him, and then rinse and repeat for that. For the, uh, it's around the first half of his health bar. Then, the uh, second half of his health bar, it's pretty similar to the first, except he adds one new move that, uh, you know, it could, it could be a little scary if you haven't seen it yet, but he'll always start out his second phase with it. He'll get up, he'll like, kind of like, uh, let me see, he'll do, oh, hold on, let me, let me, I know it'll work. So he'll do something like this. Yeah, he'll like he'll like buff like that, and then he'll take his his little halberd thing, and he'll uh, he'll charge forward at you, kind of like he's doing a uh, a joust on a horse. So he'll charge forward at you, and let's just say this bonfire's gun deer. If you're about, I know it's hard to tell right here, but like this far away roughly, he'll charge at you. You'll be fine. As soon as he's done charging, he'll spin right into an overhead attack, just very similar to the one that we parry in the first phase. So he'll do that, and as soon as he uh, starts spinning, just hit parry and you get the repost. Every time you get a repost in, my personal thing I like to do is always roll away, back away quickly, then relock on, and then walk up to him slowly and bait out the attacks. So oftentimes, until you get the one that you want, he'll do like a quick stab forward, which you can parry, and I have before, but it's it's less reliable because you have to be a little quicker. So if he does that, if he goes for that quick like a little jab, just back up quickly, let him finish his combo if he does one, then do it again. If he does that same thing again, back up, let him finish his combo, do the same thing. Just wait for the uh, wait for the overhead slam, and then in the second phase, you just want to go for the same hits, uh, except now that. Uh, you know the charge attack that's easy to parry you can mix that in as well so I think that's enough uh, enough to talk about let's go let's go show an example 
as I've said in a couple of my previous previous videos, uh, you know, I don't make these to be like flawless. Like you're going, like you're gonna beat it 100% every single time. But it's just a really solid strategy that I I usually use that helps me get the job done. And last little thing, I guess you can use like resin and stuff if you want. I'm just gonna save mine for now. I just want to. Uh, I'm just gonna fight. I, I usually don't use resin. I just like to uh, do the regular damage because it's fun. But anyway, let's go get it. And I guess uh, this little run here can be a little helpful for showing how to get through here in a decent way. Yep, so those guys just always dodge as they come to you. Sometimes they'll quick attack, sometimes they'll do a delayed. Quick attack, you just need one dodge, delayed, just dodge twice and you're good to go. Now there's going to be an NPC here, don't don't mind it. Just run right past. Alright. I usually just run right through here. Dodge right through there. Yep, and just run just like that. Nothing too crazy. Alright. And I uh, just I guess a uh, thing to keep in mind. I haven't mentioned it yet, but the Lloyd Sword Ring and Lloyd Shield Ring, if you get hit at all, even if there's only a fraction of damage, just heal when you have a chance. Because if you're, if you're below 100% health, it's like there's a few hit points of leniency that you get, but if you're below it, you won't be able to uh, reap the benefits of the rings. Alright. Anyway, let's go see how this goes. Get a few free hits, because why not? All right, yep. So, you can parry that one. I just personally don't like to. All right. Yeah, let's see if I can get him to do it. Nope. Not yet, at least. Not yet. Yeah, sometimes he's temperamental about how he wants to go about it. Any day. Any day now. Here we go. Yep, just like that. Get the parry. And then back away as quickly as possible and relock on. And then we're gonna go for the same thing here. You can parry pretty much any of these attacks. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. Here we go. So as you can see, as soon as he starts bringing that halberd down, that's when you want to hit L2 or LT the parry. Don't worry, even if you're not the best parrier in the world, just like it with anything, you give it a little bit of practice, a little bit of trial and error, you'll be able to get through it. And the RNG on these attacks is not very good right there. There we go. So that one's a little bit different from the first two. Instead of going higher, he does uh, more like uh, perpendicular to the ground. There you go. So, sorry, kind of had to jump in there quickly. But yes, with that charge attack, just be a good distance away. And then get the attack whenever he goes to spin. Ah, oh, I could have attacked that. Oh, wow, I got that parry. Okay. Yeah, so just, uh, like all bosses, don't panic. If something seems a little odd, don't panic. Just stay. Stay in the rhythm. As I said, you can parry, like, any of these attacks. You just need to make sure that you, uh... You know, you feel comfortable with it. Be careful with that. Here we go. Oh, now I'm dead. Whoa. That is a perfect example of uh, me just walking in a little bit too early. No, it happens. That's just how it goes sometimes. But yeah, I feel like that was actually a pretty good showcase there of almost all his moves. In the second phase, uh... You really do need to be careful when he, if he like just sprints right up to you be ready to dodge quickly because he'll like throw ah shitter 
Wowzers. Anyway, he'll, uh, he'll like throw a punch or a kick. And if he hits you with the first punch, there's a good chance he hits you with his second kick. So just just be ready for that. As long as you keep your distance and can force out the attacks that you're comfortable with, you'll, you'll be good to go. There we go. That's, that's the attack I usually like to avoid. Because it's just a quick one dodge and you're good to go. Damn it. That nah, doesn't really matter all that much. Now it does. <laughs> uh, and as you can see, sometimes the hardest part of this boss fight can be just, you know, running to the boss. <laughs> you can go the way, like, uh, you would normally go at the beginning of the game, where you get the, the first Titanite shard. You can go that way. I just kind of like to run because it, uh, it takes... Uh, you don't have to stop and kill your momentum so many times. Jesus. Going crazy. Yeah, but after you beat Gundir, you get a lot, and I mean a lot of goodies. There we go. Not this time, friends. All right. Let's go again. Like I said, pair the attacks that you feel comfortable with, like this one. Gives you a lot of time to sit there and react. It's just very simple. Let's see if I can get two in a row. Nope. Very nice. Play with any boss. Always make sure you're not your back's not up against the wall. Always stay moving around. Keep your keep your space. Here we go. Be ready for the punch and the kick. I guess it's not really a kick, but beautiful. And with every other boss, don't panic heal. Thank you, Gundir. I like this RNG. I almost ran right into the edge of that again. I started too soon, but... Alright, one more and we're good to go. There we go. And that's how you do Champion Gundir. The parry style. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see there, if you... If you follow the attacks that I like to parry, uh, you'll, you'll be in for a pretty good time. You can just, you can take your time. He's really slow with it, and you can get you that L2 press in a nice rhythm. Uh, like all bosses, don't expect that you're just going to do it on the first few tries. You might get it, which is awesome, but a lot of other times you'll have to, you know, just get, get some repetition. That's going to do it for this boss. Um, we're about to have some fun ones coming up here, because, uh, just, just as an example, we still have the Curse Rotted Great... Excuse me, Curse Ruddy Greatwood. We have the Deacons of the Deep. We have the Old Demon King. And we have Volnir. And we're about to have a plus 10 weapon. When normally you could fight these bosses with like what? Some of them you can fight with like a plus 2 or 3. Some you can fight with like a plus 4, 5, maybe 6 in that area. I guess Old Demon King you could do. I guess Old Demon King and Volnir you could do with plus 7. If you're going in that like uh rhythm and you purposely go out of your way to make sure you're good to go anyway i digress uh yeah we're gonna make absolute jokes out of these bosses so 
I hope you're uh, hope you're ready for that. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you may learn something. I will uh, catch you later.